it's Joel, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am finally doing my much requested update on my mother's hair journey, her, you know, post big chop. But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Once we reach 60,000 subscribers, I'll be buying any one of you, any product line of your choice. Also, if you are the owner of a business, especially a black owned business, please send me an email at shermainjoyel at gmail.com or you can go down to the description box and fill out the promo request form. But let's get started. I have Mama L back, finally, finally, finally doing her, her natural hair update so far on her journey. And I think we did your big shop last, was it November mm -hmm. before? Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's been over a, a year. year. Yeah. So I'm just gonna kind of let, I'll ask her questions and kind of let her do most of the talking and stuff because this isn't about me. <laughs> so we did your big chop in November and then we did a one month update last December. Yeah. And right now you have had a few trims. How many, how many times did we cut it? I think we, I, twice. 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 Just to make it a little more shapely and um, just to look better. As you can see, it's gotten a little bigger and I've dyed it a couple times, so we're not gonna worry about that. But I like it because it's easier to keep control of and actually it's grown in places. You know, um, I'm not one for the bonnets or anything like that because they usually fall off anyway. But in the back, it is so densely thick, it would always break off and would only get so wow. so long. Now it's like this long in the back. When I was in high school, I had a jerry curl. And of course, with all the stuff they had with the jerry curl, it would grow up just like that. S curl. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably after. That, was that a brand after? Or did that come out the same time as jerry uh, curl? Just about, about the same time. But they also had Afro Sheen and all that stuff. And the pink lotion, love that. My senior portrait has about this much of my face in it and the rest of it's hair. It's kind of getting that way. Granted, that was 40 some years ago, so I'm trying to keep it tame so I, I look my, my age and not some wild woman out there. I do like it. It's easy to keep. And with the products that my lovely child has given me, <laughs> the hair is, is better. It's thicker in the top where it started to thin. It's grown out and it just feels a whole lot better. Soft too. So basically keeping it short right now has been the easiest for you to maintain because I know I get a lot of comments about they just want their hair to grow out so, so fast, but I have, and I tell them all the time, like mine is growing faster than what I feel like I can keep, can keep up with sometimes. So yeah. it's like embracing the length it's currently at it gives you more time to learn how to work with it too. <laughs> that, and again, it, the products that you use it helps keep the hair stronger, much more moisturized because you're doing it more on a daily basis. And with the Afro, you don't get that slick down, heavy, greasy look and feel. Mm -hmm. This is all natural. It's There's no chemicals, no harsh chemicals. So it's not impeding the growth and detrimenting the, the health of your hair. And I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yay! <laughs> Do you, is your hair routine a lot faster? It's faster. It's faster. I just slap it on, comb it out, out the door I go. <laughs> yes. Okay. And since we have introduced mom to some natural hair products, probably more along the main choice has probably been... The main choice, I, I do love their products, but the last one you gave me, Camille? Yeah, Camille Rose. Yes! Liking that one a lot. And that's the uh, the hair milk that she's using with the macadamia nut oil. It smells really good. It smells like your white chocolate macadamia cookies that you like so much. Yummy, yummy, yum, yum, yum. Yes, yes. And Nevaeh is always telling me I smell nice. <laughs> I like the Camille. It's it's the Camille Rose, sorry. It's very, very good. I like the way it smells too. And even after I'm done with it, I kind of rub it into my hair. <laughs> Like we're not wasting anything. If you can moisturize your hair, it'll moisturize your hands. Let's just how it is. And it's wonderful. Maybe that's why they say black women have nice hands all the time. Because they get the like oils in the <laughs> I actually asked a hairdresser I used to go to. I was like, what do you do? Because you're washing and in she goes, between the shampoos and the conditioners, the hands stay moisturized. 
Kind of like, well, makes sense to me. The more you know. Do you have a length goal then for your natural hair? Or are you just kind of like taking it a day at a time? Taking it a day at a time because I've never really liked taking pictures because I'm one of those people who look 10, 20 pounds heavier than I really am. So, <laughs> and I just don't want the hair to cover my face. Or have not enough hair to, you know, make it look decent. You I feel look fine. I feel puffy. You're <laughs> fine. Would you be willing to grow it out enough to wear like a puff like mine, or is that still too long? <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, the, those days have far gone by. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know, like mm, yeah. maybe. <laughs> You know, the high puff has definitely been my best friend as my hair gets longer. Like, I used to make fun of Selena all the time. Like, why do you always wear your hair up? Like, if I had your hair, I'd wear it down all the time. Now I'm like, dude, I can't eat, I can't see over heat. Like, it's just nice to have my hair out of my face. Yeah, and do you feel that little trickle that goes down your back from... It's, oh, God, I hate that. That's the only part I hate on, like, wash days is when my hair is still super damp and I just apply, like, oils and stuff, and it'll sometimes, like, go down my neck. So how long does it take for you to dry your hair? Ugh. Well, if I just let it out in an afro, it'll mm -hmm. take me probably like half the day for it to sometimes, well, if you count 100% dry. <laughs> because the crown of my head takes the longest, mm -hmm. down by my mm -hmm. scalp takes the longest, uh, probably the whole day. day. Sometimes even into the next day, it's still a little damp. But if it's in like my chunky twists or my chunky braids that I've been doing, and I'll do that in another video for you guys. I let those dry for two days because it just doesn't dry. It wow. doesn't dry. That's why I like to do the dry chunky twist the day after I do, usually do a wash day because it doesn't take as long to freaking dry. The other thing you brought up and I was gonna mention is I know a lot of women also don't like the bonnets either because they fall off or they overheat. I personally like bonnets. I feel like my hair, I feel more comfortable sleeping with a bonnet. I feel like my hair is more protected, but there's also mm -hmm. the satin pillowcases or silk pillowcases mm -hmm. you can do. Would you yeah. be willing to try that? Cause I feel yeah. like that's like awesome. If you don't like bonnets, it's better to sleep on like the satin or silk pillowcases because it's not gonna cause as much friction with your, okay. with your hair. And, and so the breakage and rubbing yeah, on the cotton. And, yeah, or the yeah. dryness too. It'll yeah. help actually keep some moisture sure. in your hair. So I'm like, maybe we'll try that. Cause I'm always like, if you don't like bonnets, like I swear on my life, <laughs> do get the pillowcases. Like and if, and sometimes women don't like the bonnets because they don't have drawstrings to keep right. them on. So if that's your problem too, get one with drawstrings. It'll literally change your life because I haven't even two. tried one with the drawstrings. So I Christmas. Got, but yeah, they always fall off or I was wearing one and I was like pouring down with sweat and I was like ripped it off in the middle of the night. So I was oh, like, I okay, gotta night. shower again in the morning cause it's just, ugh. I've been there and you're just like, it is what it is, man. It's hot. Mm-hmm. Or like half my, only half my hair is fitting under this cause it's too small anyway. What's your go-to product for your hair right now? Like, but not just brand-wise, like introducing like our leave-ins, like your biggest thing, or you like the sheen oils you feel like are the most beneficial, or deep conditioning, or, you know, what's your biggest, like... I like the daily leave-in. Yeah. It's quick, it gets through that denseness, and it's not a fight to comb through my hair. And I That's love That's my that. bias, leave-ins are my bias. I. If I, I always bet on leave-ins. When it comes to a new product line, I'm like, I am pretty sure the leave-in's gonna be my favorite. It's usually between that and the deep conditioners that are my favorites. It's quick and it, it reacts quickly. Yes. It softens it up. So I remember being young, I would get a handful of hair. Mm hmm yeah. And now it's just barely this. Yeah, so your fallout's less than tip. Fallout is way less. I remember when I had relaxed hair every day, I would be done getting dressed and it would be checking for any yeah. hair breakage that would come off my yep. shirt. I don't yep. even have to do that anymore. No, no. It's just rin taking, rinsing down the shower and getting it yes. in the trash can before it goes out the drain. Yeah, your dad's like, who shaved in here? Oh my God. I think I've mentioned it before and I'll probably have Selena maybe help me, but I want to try a twist out on your hair now that's a little bit longer just to see what it would look like. I feel like doing twist outs on shorter hair is harder because you can't grip as much and put yeah. it in the sections, but I yeah. feel like your hair is at a, a length. I just want to see you with a twist out. Because okay. for me, it was like a, a big deal when I did it. I was like, I don't want to do twist outs. 
they're lame, you know, they take too much time, blah, 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 blah. And I wasn't a huge, huge fan when my hair was shorter, but now it's almost like detrimental now that my hair's longer because I have to stretch it or I get these like crazy fairy knots, uh. aka single strand knots. You guys know, they're like the bane of my existence. <laughs> it's always fun to see your hair like to do different styles and change it up. So yeah. you'll you'll have to just like chill on your bed while, you, while I just kind of like do, do my thing. But maybe, okay. maybe we'll try that out. One thing I also have noticed as I have aged, and I noticed this in Uncle Stevie's hair, it was the thick, tight curls. I mean, you could bounce a ball off our heads. Yes. But as he got older, his curls softened so much, and his hair got so soft. It was like Selena's hair. What? Yes. Now, you saw the picture at his funeral. Yes. Yeah. he was 17. That's what his hair was like. For as long as I can remember, yeah. when he came back, he looked like he was out of Puerto Rican or something. <laughs> but and I've also noticed that softening in mine a little bit because hmm. my hair never used to curl up with anything. What's well, Nana's hair type? Do you know? Because she said that even her natural hair is is looser than. Yeah, hers has gotten looser. Hers was not quite as tight. Yeah. Not quite Selena's, but not quite like ours, kind of in the middle. Yeah. Because uh, Grandma Aura, Aura one eighth Indian, mm -hmm. American Indian, and her hair was always very soft. She could wash it and brush it out straight. She never really got heat on her hair. And she always pinned it up. She never used a curling iron. Yeah, so she did like pin curls and mm -hmm. stuff. Interesting. And she was Princess Leia before there was a Princess Leia. I always remember parting her hair down the middle, and she could do it quick because she had hair down to here, and it wasn't thin. And she rubbed. <laughs> I always thought I would always call them cinnamon rolls because yes. they looked like cinnamon rolls on the side of her head. And she was a very tiny woman, so the hair stood out. Yeah. And then Princess Leia came along, and like, oh, she stole it from my grandma. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my, that's funny. <laughs> she had like space buttons before. Mm-hmm. Yep, long before there was a Star Wars. Speaking of bringing age into it, someone wanted me to ask you like how you feel about natural hair at the age that you're at right now compared to when you were younger. Is it mostly just like a length difference that... It's more... I switched styles, so the hair style really didn't matter, just kind of how I felt that day. Yeah. And now, I think... I like the afro because it's easier to deal with, easier to take care of. Yeah. And I'm not doing whoosh, whoosh. I feel you. I love <laughs> my afro at the beginning of my natural hair journey. I was just like, and, and it's me. Mm -hmm. This is what just what it looks like. It's growing, it's healthy. Like, I, mm -hmm. I yeah. loved it. So, yeah. I love TWA, teeny weeny afro as they yeah. call it. I thought about doing, doing that too, cutting it low, but puffy face and I'm just kind of still not sure. <laughs> That's how I, I just kind of let it grow out until I kind of figured out what I liked doing mm -hmm. with my hair. Mm -hmm. And I kind of started to find out that I really just liked picking my afro out, but as it's gotten longer, I like doing the high puffs and the, mm -hmm. and the chunky twists and stuff once in a while to get it to stretch. But, but yeah, a, a lot of your natural hair journey isn't just learning what products work on your hair, which ones you like. It's also just kind of figuring out what style works best for you. Not everybody's gonna like the afro style. Some people like their hair pulled back, or some will like doing braids more often, or some will like doing, you know, like really intricate things. But wow. you know, and then there's, you know, people like me and mom who just like wearing it as it as it as is. It's is. <laughs> probably one of the healthiest ways. You know, don't have as many hands in your hair. Mm -hmm. There's not as much manipulation. Right. No one's pulling on it, tugging on it. Yeah. And I like my straight, my straight styles too. Mm -hmm. But. The, the perms were kind of tough, and even before I did my big chop, as you mm -hmm. call it, my hair was still natural, and I was straightening it every day. Flat iron curl. Mm -hmm. And I would take care of it also, but yeah, you have the fallout, the uh, fallout breakage, and stuff. Yeah. yeah, the breakage there. That's all part of taking care of your hair, which I thought I was doing, mm -hmm. but the amount of heat on a daily basis was really tearing my hair up. Yeah. So, but with this, it's nice and easy. And it's actually to a point that 
when I'm truly feeling lazy, all I can do is this. And, yep, exactly. I you feel you. No one knows the difference. I'm That's like, it's how, all good. That's how I feel right now. I'm just like, why? Don't get me wrong. I love my hair, and I've worked very hard to grow it out. I don't plan on cutting it. But the the time difference, like versus me, I'll just like fluff it out, and then like I can do that sometimes with a high buff. You know, I have to make sure it's not super matted, so I have to take the time to go through and pick it out. Like, when I have my short hair. Oh, so easy. <laughs> so so easy. Goodness gracious, I miss those days. You guys know I've been posting pictures about like, do I do the TWA? Do I cut it? I've been like trying hard not to fall victim. I promise. I promise you, I'm stronger than that. Anywho, we should probably go walk them because they're being psychotic. But yeah. thank you for joining me on your hair update. I hope this has satisfied <laughs> some of you guys. So, it, like she said, you know, we've done a few, you know, cuts too. One mm -hmm. or two cuts mm -hmm. since then. So, you know, obviously her hair length is going to be different than, you know, someone who hasn't taken scissors to it. But it's growing. It's healthier. It looks thicker. It oh, looks healthier. It is thicker, even in the top. It's much thicker, and this back here is actually growing. Okay, without pulling it out, it's like this long. Yeah. Where it was like this before. And now if I were to pull it. Let me see something. We're gonna do some random length checks real quick. Okay. So we're gonna do the back of your head right here. You're at almost four inches back here. Let's do the top really fast. So in case you didn't hear me, four inches at the back. Wow, you're almost at six inches here at the top. Yeah, oh, yeah, like six and a half inches here. Wow. <laughs> Let's do your sides here real quick. I like to do like top, back, and sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about four inches here. Mm. Look at you. <laughs> okay, interesting. That's all good for me. I'm I'm not even mad, as you said. Yeah, I ain't even mad about it. I ain't even mad. But okay. All right. I'm glad that we got to finally sit down and do this for you. And hopefully next time you guys see mom on this channel, we will be recreating one of my childhood hairstyles. I already told Selena that I'm not going to, we're not going to do, we're, gonna, we're not going to wash it. I will wash it for you. And I will put it in my sections and uh, oh, moisturize okay. it for you. Or, or Selena wants me to let you moisturize it and come okay. through and then you can go from there. But I'll put it in my sections so that you're not just working with it all in one go. It's kind of like, okay, she's got six or eight puffs and then we'll go from there. I used to do that when your hair was here. I, I know, uh, I know, I'm just trying not to kill you either. <laughs> it's been a while, it's been it's a while. It's been a while, yeah, yeah. So, Hands aren't as um, <laughs> flexible. Flexible, you know. Nimble. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I thought about letting you do my wash day, and I was just like, I, with all this hitting on, laying on that counter, yeah, I don't know about that. Let's not, let's not take too big of a bite here. So, hopefully that'll be a video you guys see later in Vlogmas, but I hope you enjoyed. Please, again, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. If you are a member, I have updated the memberships, so please take a look at that. I will post the changes down in a pinned comment. But please, if you are currently a member, please check your memberships. I switched them yesterday, last night. And you can also watch the video from yesterday if you need an update on that. With that said, keep blooming, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>